Okay, so it's Monday, back on the barbells. So, brief recap. So I'm doing squats three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, followed by some form of press, either a military press or a bench press, and then followed by something for the back, either a deadlift or chins, um, parallel grip pull-ups. Uh, pick up a bit of the glare, might help. Okay, I warmed up quite a bit. Uh, my, last, uh, my last single was 105 kilos. Okay, uh, on the, the bar's loaded to 112 and a half. So, you know, this is getting quite heavy now for, uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to uh, do this for uh, any any more sessions. Who knows? It got, it's a case of you know try it and see. But um, what I've been doing is simply Monday, Wednesday, Friday squatting, adding two and a half kilos, so three sets of five. Okay, uh, I'm quite surprised it's gone this far because the you know the fatigue is uh, is real. Let's say. Okay, on this bar I've got two twenties. So these these are. Uh, but both both the same identical plates and I'm hoping that uh, you know the brand which is uh, don't know if you can say these things on YouTube but I'm hoping that the brand will be uh, genuine and uh, it will be a, an accurate weight so those two twenties so I'm going to try and keep to that format every time I squat so you know so you're not, you're not getting that little discrepancy between weight plates they do you know, they, they do uh, deviate somewhat from what's from the, from what's written on them. Uh, so two twenties, two two and a half. So that's that makes 105, 110, and then a one and a quarter. So that makes 112 and a half. Yeah. So five reps. Let's see what happens. As I say, I am gonna I'm gonna push it until uh, until I can't really. Uh, and then what comes next is it's simply going to be Monday and Friday will continue as, the, as, as they were, so adding two and a half kilos hopefully, but Wednesday the midweek session will be a, a light squat day, so hopefully, you know that means that instead of trying to uh, progress at seven and a half kilos a week, which is, you know, you think about it, seven and a half kilos a week, you know, it doesn't take long before you've got, you know, hundreds of kilos on the bar. But uh, instead of trying to progress at seven and a half kilos a week, I'll then be progressing at five kilos a week. And eventually, you know, you take your next step, it'll be progressing at two and a half kilos a week. But we'll get there when we get there. Okay, so for the time being, you know, the, the original format stands. Three sets of five, add two and a half kilos. See what happens. Okay, um, the weekend, I, uh, I did quite an extensive uh, swing session on Saturday morning, so I, you know, I, I, I always feel bad about not doing anything whatsoever, I cannot just simply lay around doing nothing, it's very difficult, uh, sometimes that's what you've got to do though, uh, but um, Saturday I did a swing session, I think it was about, I don't know, about 24 sets I think. Uh, some of them were light, some of them were heavy. Okay, uh, Sunday I did nothing whatsoever. Uh, a very, very small amount of walking, you know, just nothing. Nothing to write, nothing, nothing that I can say of significance. So, I'm hoping that uh, that's adequate rest. But, you know, to anybody who's, uh, you know, thinking about doing something similar to what I'm doing, you know, don't underestimate the, uh, the necessity to, uh, to rest. You know, this might seem to be a very, a very easy program. You know, you do three sets of squats, three sets of a press, and then it's either three sets of chin ups or one set of uh, deadlifts, and that's it. You've done for the day, three times a week. So it's very, very little in terms of, of volume. But the problem is, you know, weight on the bar, weight on the bar. That's what matters. Anyway, I think I've forgotten my timer. Oh no, I've got it, I've got it, I've got a timer. So I'm going to set up a timer. So today I'm actually going to change the timer, but not on squats. So for squats, it's going to be a five minute timer. 
but on the presses I'm going to drop down to uh, three minutes. See how see if that affects it at all. I think on the on the on the on the lighter stuff, you know, you don't need as much of a rest period. So I think for you know for my, my pressing it's only about 50 kilos or so. So I'm, I think three minutes will be enough. And the same for the pull-ups, which will be body weight. But for the, uh, the squats, I'm gonna stick with five minutes. Okay, that's gonna run down in about half a minute. Uh, put a bit of chalk on. Probably don't need it, but why not? Okay, so here we go, five reps. <sighs> See what happens. First, that's always the hardest I find. You know, it's just, just this. Just have to live with it. Okay, let's do five. Come on. Yes, I count to five. <sighs> okay, I think I did a... I altered the warm up slightly. And I think it helped. So previously, what I did... I went 60, 80, 90, 100. That was a warm up. Uh, this time I went 60, 80, 100, 105. So the 112 and a half may be, may be less of a shock. Who knows? Yeah, but. It's never easy, whatever, so. Possibly just a psychological effect. But, uh, I think doing a, you know, finishing your warm up on a single that's pretty near the working weight might be a good idea. Let's say 10 kilos off. That's probably about it. That's probably a formula that I'll stick to. So next time, I'll just do the same warm up, 105 finishes, and then we're on to 115. <laughs> that's assuming, that's as well, I will get there eventually. Whether or not it's next time, I don't know, but uh, it will come eventually. So, obviously, I've got to do three sets of five on this before I move up to 115. Yeah. I mean, when I look, I look back at, you know, when I, when I was a beginner, I just didn't have a clue. You know, we're talking about 1980s, um, about 84-ish, when I started training with weights properly. Uh, before that, I'd just done a bit of sort of like, you know, manual labour. And that manual labour was, was uh, good enough to put some muscle on, but I let it go. Oh, not really interested in putting muscle on, just want some money. <laughs> uh, but about 84, that's when I started doing uh, weights, really, in a, any, anything like a consistent way. I didn't have a clue, you know, I just did machine work, really. So, like training every day, just about, on most days. Just, uh, you know, I, knew, I knew that you had to uh, put more weight on it. But exactly how you arranged it, I didn't know. 
I think like everybody else, I just did way too much. You know, when you're a beginner, you don't need it. You know, what I'm doing now is about right, you know. I think, you know, one of the reasons why it's working again for me, I think, is because, you know, I'm old, so I don't need, oh, it's not that I don't need, I just, I just can't handle massive volumes. So being old, you know, it's, it's almost like going back to the beginning. You know, at some point in time, you, you know, on this journey, you go up, 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 hit the peak, and eventually you go down, 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 and you, and you meet yourself again. So, you know. Okay, no set five. But I, ne I was never methodical like this, and I think this is, you know, However, however difficult it is to be methodical, it's, I still think it is the best way. Okay, let's hit five again. Come on. Good stuff. Yeah. I mean, the thing about this repetitive, methodical approach, that's keeping the mind under control. Yeah. It's so easy to abandon ship and uh, Make another start on something else. Uh, I've done it. Yeah, I think it can be can be a good idea. Yeah, I've done it at the right time, but at some point in time, you've got to bite the bullet and make the progress. That's exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah, paying the price, getting more weight on the bar. It's just, I suppose in a way it's, it's sort of like, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do it fairly quickly, like this way? This is a fairly, well this is as quick as it gets, you know. You're not, you're not realistically going to be putting more than two and a half kilos on every time. And getting the same amount of reps. You know, unless you're an absolute rank beginner. You know, as soon as you get past body weight, let's say, whatever. Yeah, when you get past body weight, putting another two and a half kilos on every every session is about as good as it gets. That's as fast as it gets. But, uh, you know, the, the direct way, which this is the direct way, this is like, you know, zooming down the motorway. The direct way is the hard way. And if you want a more, sort of like a, an easier approach, then obviously there are many ways to do it easier. You know? But, uh, put my head in this one. Squatting three times a week, three sets of five, add two and a half kilos. Get it done. I know it's hard. Get it done. Uh, but I've also got no doubt that this is going to come to a come to a natural end very very soon.
So, as I've said various times, it's just a case of slowing down the progress, but maintaining progress. Progress, but not as fast. This is not a, not a massively complicated, you know, brainy affair. It's relatively simple once you get once you get the uh, you know, once you get the hang of a few ideas. But uh, when you're a rank beginner, you know, it's just a complete mystery. And I would say for a rank beginner, the best way is to find a source of information, stick to it, whatever it is. And it could be right, it could be wrong, but. At least you're going to learn something. Okay, another set of five, and I've done on this, hopefully. So, yes, we're still, yeah, okay, so that's 112 and a half for three sets of five, moving up from the last of the fit, which was 110, three sets of five. Oh, over the moon, finished. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> you know, it's like the old joke about banging your head against the wall. <laughs> it feels great when you stop. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Good stuff. I'll leave that one there so it doesn't topple over. One and a quarter. Two and a half. Two and a half. A pair of twenties. Yeah, I think I'll stop filming that, and I'll be back soon with some uh, pressing when I've warmed it up. <laughs> 